Hey all, Frozen Foxy here, and welcome to this quick update, Saturday, June 23rd, 2012. I just arrived back from uh, Palo Alto, California, and it was pretty hot out there. I did not like the heat whatsoever. A lot of the people that were there told me that it was a cool day, so I would not want to see it when it was a actual hot day. But hopefully a lot of you didn't recognize that I was even gone at all since my videos continued to release and all that kind of stuff. Which is, is really cool because they release while I'm not even around to do anything with it. I had actually wanted to release a little bit earlier so that I could uh, put it up on my channel, tweet it, and all that kind of stuff. But things didn't work out that way. I, uh, I set it up to release at 9am for, uh, for Dead Island on Friday. And nothing happened with me actually putting that up on my channel sadly enough i didn't uh i didn't really get to do anything but you know what whatever it doesn't matter in other news youtube really needs to fix the uh the whole messaging system because it's it's really annoying when I click select all messages and it, it doesn't do that so I've just been letting messages build up for uh, for a while and I'm at 960 now and I can't really do anything about it unless I want to go through and individually select every message to delete it out of my inbox and honestly I don't want to spend the time clicking 960 different things just to delete them I don't know about you but um, I'm not that kind of person who enjoys tedious tasks over and over and over and over. Also, if you're going to send me a personal message and expect a reply back from me, please make sure that you're accepting replies because um, I've been getting some messages from random people who've been asking me questions or something like that. Maybe they want me to do a let's play, maybe they want my opinion on a game or to recommend a game something like that but I can't reply to them because it asks me to uh, to have them in my contacts which I don't have them in my contacts and then when I go to their channel it says that their channel is unavailable so I can't really do anything with that so either unprivate your channel or don't send me the message I can't do anything I have no idea how to get back to you other YouTube things, um, I've changed up the banner a bit. Some of you may have noticed it's been like this for quite a while, um, but I have changed a couple of the, the buttons up here. This one uh, now leads to g2po.com uh, and my videos over there. If you want to see them over there instead of on YouTube, that is completely up to you. It doesn't matter. One way or another, you can see the videos. Um, the other thing that I have changed is um, this little icon here, which is going to, uh, to lead you over to the Extra Life event. Uh, over on this page, which um, we're, we're still running at the moment. You can still donate to it. I'm actually going to be changing the, uh, the raffle thing a bit because I think people have been uh, a little bit put off by the fact that the raffle... Um, I was requiring people to actually be at the stream to win things during the raffle, so... Here's my uh, here's my new thoughts on how to do this. I'm still going to run the stream as usual on uh, October 20th, and it's going to be for 24 hours, so join me if you want to, all that kind of stuff. However, um, I will announce raffle winners that aren't on the stream as well. So you can donate to this, and uh, I'll still announce raffle winners. Um, and... Basically, how I'll go about this is if you don't email me and you donate and your email is not anonymous, then I will assume that you are in the raffle. If you don't want to be in the raffle, you can send me an email at uh, frozenfoxyel, as an extra life, 2012 at gmail.com and say you don't want to be in the raffle. So, I mean, you know, some people want to donate and not be in the raffle because they don't want to do it to get video games and all that kind of stuff, and I completely understand that. That makes complete sense to me, but if you want to be in the raffle, you can win games uh, by donating to children, which is really cool because you help kids out and you get to play games. I think it's a win-win situation. Maybe other people don't. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks it's a win-win situation. 
but you know that's that's just how I I thought about it. I had extra games in my inventory, and I figured I would use them to do a raffle sort of thing. So you know, if people don't uh, don't sign up to win the games, then I will keep the games for who knows how long. I don't know what I'll do with the games. In other news, um, I saw this come up a little while ago with Crystal Dynamics and their uh, their new Tomb Raider game, which basically uh, pits Laura against things that she has never been pitted against before because she's young Laura right now. Um, and so you actually get a sense that she is freaking out, does not have the means to survive right away, all that kind of stuff, and then gets the adrenaline going, starts kicking ass. Apparently during the uh, the trailer that they were uh, releasing at E3, there's a scene, and I've, I've actually watched the trailer, and this scene basically looks like this guy is attempting to rape her. So Crystal Dynamics comes back and says, oh, no, 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 that's not what it is, because we don't want to cover that in our game. Why, Crystal Dynamics? That is exactly what it looks like, and you know what? I think you should let it look like that. Sure, you're not covering it. Sure, you are trying to cover the fact that Laura is just at the point that she breaks and needs to kill someone for the first time in her life. But why are you covering up why she had to do it? I don't understand. It makes sense. It gives purpose, all that kind of stuff. And I mean... I don't think we have to split hairs over this. It was an attempt at rape scene. Leave it like that. It was an amazing trailer. I think you should watch it. I've got the trailer right here. It is fantastic. And I will definitely link this trailer, as well as everything else that I'm talking about, down in the info. Um, but definitely watch this trailer. It's It makes Laura look like she's not able to handle what's coming at her, and you know what? I think that's fantastic. They should have done this a long time ago. I remember Retsupre used to uh, go over this guy's videos. He was named Navigator. He had some kind of gaming in the 90s thing and had Bill Clinton swimming along or something. It was awful. But they were making fun of the fact that he was uh, talking about how Let's Play, or uh, excuse me, Tomb Raider 3 should um, should be about Laura getting breast cancer. Okay, that sounds absolutely stupid. Yes, absolutely. I completely agree. That was the dumbest thing I have ever heard. But, but he made one particularly good point when he was talking about it. Laura needs to be humanized. She, for the longest time, has basically been a Terminator with, with pixelated bumps. That, that has been all that Laura has been. But in this game, finally, we start to see Laura be a human. Someone who's actually afraid, terrified of the situation, may not make it out alive. All that kind of stuff. And she hates tombs. This is the Laura that I have been waiting for for a long time because they have finally humanized her, put emotion into it, and it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for this new Tomb Raider game. I've liked Tomb Raider for quite a while. I can honestly say I have, but it has never been something where I go into it thinking I'm going to be in for an emotional ride, all that kind of stuff. I think I'm just going to go in for an adventure and shoot a bunch of shit and find some treasure, maybe. This? This looks like much more, and I can't wait for this. I want to throw money at the screen right now because it looks awesome. Definitely watch this trailer. Get acquainted with it. It looks amazing. Next thing on the uh, the old list here is um, Amnesia is uh, having a sequel, A Machine for Pigs. This game looks like it's uh, possibly going to be pretty good. And um, honestly, I will probably do a let's play of this at some point. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be doing it immediately when it comes out. But I would like to pick up this game and definitely give it a try. 
I don't know if it's going to be as good as the first one. I don't know exactly what the story is going to be about. But it looks really good. It looks like it's uh, it's going to be something that I'll have a lot of fun with. Um, I actually got a tweet coming my way the other day from uh, this person, a Freaky Link fan, um, which was linking me to something weird, and I, I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't know if I want to click this, because it's just a random link from someone. But it was Game Informer, and I was like, ah, eh, that's, that's an okay site. I've been there before. So let's go to it. The 4 concept video. Oh my god, awesome. They're finally releasing something, and apparently this was a quote-unquote leaked video that they didn't want out, and it was pulled down almost immediately after it was uh, put out there, but apparently someone had the bright idea to save it right when they saw it, and um, it's uploaded in a few different places, so yeah, definitely check this out. It's, it's a little 30-second video, but... Um, it's getting me hyped again for Thief 4. It's been a long time since I heard anything about Thief 4. And um, I really like Thief 4. The idea of it. And the fact that it's coming out of the same shop that did uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. The game is quite a bit of fun. So I imagine if they can pull off uh, a new Deus Ex, then maybe they can pull off a new Thief. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath at the moment, but I'm getting a little bit hyped again. It's, it's been a long time since uh, I've heard anything about this, but the fact that there is some sort of video out here looks cool, and uh, I can't wait for it. Um, in other news, uh, we've got Teaching with Portals. So um, someone got the bright idea that Portal 2 is... A great puzzle game and would be fantastic to teach people with so they're giving it away free to teachers so you can teach any kid that comes into your classroom with portals that is an amazing idea I mean these puzzles in this game are are somewhat difficult and they're gonna teach these kids how to think pretty well if you've ever seen I Justine, she obviously needed this when she was going to school because, oh my god, she has no awareness of the situation whatsoever. Someone really needs to go in there and hit her over the head a few times and maybe it will stir something around in her brain and she'll start to think properly. Probably not, but the fact that they're teaching with portals, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. This is definitely something that I like. I like that Valve is doing this. In other news, um, we've actually got something going on on a site called uh, Green Man Gaming. And it is a, a sale of sorts where it's uh, up to 50% off on uh, Iceberg Interactive Games. And there's, there's a few good ones in here. I'm not a big fan of everything that's here, but uh, there's definitely some interesting stuff to look at. Darkfall, I uh, I would definitely recommend taking a look at that. That uh, that looks like a pretty good game. Probably Darkness Within as well. Not all these things, but uh, definitely quite a few of these things look pretty good to me. So definitely take a look at this. Also on uh, Green Man Gaming is Alan Wake which is going for 10 bucks right now. That is a deal that you cannot beat, and it activates on Steam, which is pretty neat. Usually what you'll see on Green Man Gaming is that the, uh, the game cannot be traded in, and that usually indicates that it's uh, a game that activates on Steam. There's, uh, there's also games on here that uh, you play through uh, what they have on their site. I believe it's called Capsule, something like that. It's, it's a similar kind of platform to Steam, but uh, it goes on this specific Green Man Gaming site. And uh, what will happen is uh, you can trade in games when you're done playing them, much like physical games, and get money towards other games. So it's kind of like going to GameStop except online, which is uh, kind of neat. But um, some of these games can't be traded in like the ones that uh, activate on Steam. I highly recommend Alan Wake. It's it's a pretty fun game. 
Not the best game I've ever played, but definitely an enjoyable game. Um, in other news, we have the uh, Groupies number no. three bundle coming out, uh, Be My number no. three, and uh, that has quite a few good games in here and supports uh, helping out with a, uh, a donation thing for uh, getting rid of cancer. Sounds cool to me. You know, I, I like trying to get rid of cancer. Cancer is no fun, but um, as we get up here, uh, it opens up different achievements, more or less, so to speak, and uh, different things open, like music, comics, other games, like uh, the last one here is Postal 2. That'll probably get opened pretty soon here, because the, uh, the $20,000 goal has already been achieved, and 40000 is up there. I imagine it will get up there pretty soon. There's still like 12 days on the clock. I don't see why it wouldn't. And with these games, they're pretty good games. I'm probably going to get this one myself as well. Um, and you just spend like six bucks and then you can get this extra game on top of it, which is pretty cool. Also, uh, over on Good Old Games, they have uh, this thing where they're basically voting on one or the other. Um, to get 60% off versus 40% off for a, uh, a total of 100% off. It's the uh, quote-unquote battle of the games. Uh, currently, they have a couple of uh, adventure games with The Last Express being the winner and uh, Broken Sword being the runner-up. Um, right now, they're going to be voting on Jagged Alliance 2 versus UFO Afterlights. And uh, I'll be damned if Jagged Alliance shouldn't win this one because that is a uh, very, very awesome game. Definitely something that I would buy if it, uh, if it ends up being the one that makes it. And with twice the votes and then some, I think it's going to be the one that wins. I don't see UFO Afterlight winning this one. I never really liked the UFO games. They're not... Uh, they're not that good. I mean, they're supposed to be XCOM derivatives, but they don't feel like XCOM at all to me. Highly recommend going over to Good Old Games, though. I think uh, Good Old Games actually gives you maybe four or five different free games on sign-up. I don't know if they're still doing that, but um, they often have some free games and uh, every once in a while, they'll they'll have a brand new free game set, and you just go in there, and it says it costs zero. You add it to your cart, and then suddenly you own the game for no money. That's pretty cool. I like good old games. It is an amazing website. They've got Thief on there and uh, plenty of other games. Definitely a good site to go to. That's going to be uh, it for the updates at this moment. Um... Hope you've all enjoyed looking at all this stuff. Remember, all the links are down in the info, so you can go and check that out. Uh, see what's going on out there. Maybe buy some games. And, in general, have a lot of fun. I'll see you all later. Bye for now, everyone.